Hi, this is Sean with Crew Dog Electronics, and this is going to be your AHARS upgrade guide. Here's what is included with the kit that ships from Amazon. We've got the SanDisk adapter, which allows you to put the micro SD card in to do any flashes that you need in the future. This is the micro SD card with the new version of the Stratix software already installed, which is AHARS enabled. And this is your combined AHARS fan controller chip. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do is get your unit and carefully take out the old micro SD card if you have one. It's best using a pair of uh, tweezers and also be very careful with this because the card is very brittle. Just want to come in here, gently pull it out, and you can see that this the gold part always goes uh, facing down towards the bulk of the unit. Next step will be to get a screwdriver and take off the back of the unit. Um, go through take off all six screws and open up the unit and I'll show you what that looks like. So here's the unit already opened up. So we'll take off the top here and very carefully you're going to want to disconnect the fan controller. Hold it open here with your finger. You're going to take the AHARS chip with the bulk of it facing towards you and place it here on the end. You can see there's little ports in here to, to guide you. Line it down, push it very gently with your finger, and make sure it seals into place. And you can see there's no gap, it's down there all the way. Next you're going to want to take the power cord for the fan, and you can see there's a little plus sign right here on the chip. You want to make sure the plus sign lines up with the red cord, and just gently push that on. So now that's lined up. Now you're done. You can put this case back together, put the screws back in, screw it back together. Last part is to put your new software card inside. So take it over here with the little port for the micro SD card. Take the micro SD card with the gold facing up. Gently insert it. You can see there's a little uh, bracket for it there on the top. Gently insert it in and just push it in with your thumb. It doesn't click into place. Once it's seated in there all the way, it'll work. And so that's it. You'll just need to boot up your unit. You can go to the settings page, look at the AHARS status to make sure that your AHARS is working, and you can go ahead and use AHARS with your favorite EFB.